So I've been asked to create a video showing how this technique is done in CorelDRAW and Adobe Illustrator. So this is the video for CorelDRAW. Um, first thing you need to do is write up your text and I've used the impact font and I'm going to show you what I do to bring the lines closer together and the letters. I need to use kerning to bring the letters closer together. So let's choose this as text and adjust the kerning. Bring the letters closer together. You want to be careful that you're not bringing, it, bringing them too, too close together. That's looking good. My main concern is this area right over here. And then I also want to bring my lines closer together and that's going to be under paragraph. You may not see that. It may look like this. So just open up that area and you want to decrease your line spacing over here. I've already done a little bit, but I'm going to do a bit more to bring them really nice and close together because that helps make the image look better. It gives you a better result. So I've gone out and found a little snowman that I'm going to use. I went and got a PNG file because with the PNG file, I can remove the background and I'm going to import that. And I'm going to use my snowman icon and import it. And I'll just click to place him. Then I'm going to right click and do a quick trace. And you can see that now I only have the outline. This was with a square. Delete him. And I'll take the icon and place it over the text here and make sure that it fits within the text. That goes quite well. So then I will click to select the snowman. I'm going to press shift and then click the text to select that as well. I'll click Arrange, I'll choose Shaping, and then Intersect. So when I pull away the snowman, you don't see any difference. But if I click over where the snowman was, there is something there, and if you change the color, you'll see it. There's your snowman. There is a problem though, and that is that if you pull this away, you still have all the text behind here. That's okay, but you would have to be overlapping this vinyl on top of your black vinyl. If you don't want to be doing that, then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a copy of this purple text. I'm going to put it back in place first by clicking undo a couple of times. Then I'm going to right click and copy. Then I'll right click and paste. And I'll just drag this over here so that I have it ready to use. I'm going to choose both of these, go back to the Arrange menu, go to Shaping, and then I'm going to choose Back minus Front. That takes away the shape that was there in purple. And now I can bring back this piece and set it in where it belongs. Now that works perfectly and you don't have overlapping vinyl. If you're interested, please come and join my CorelDRAW users group on Facebook. Just search for CorelDRAW users. Thanks so much for watching.